I'm gonna put on my PowerPoint glasses. What? Yeah, I know. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a long road these last two decades or so. Getting my career together, getting married, having kids. Um, some social skills have slipped a bit. The friendship thing has kind of gone away, as it does happen to uh, to marry people with kids who get involved in that, you know, that microcosm of poopy diapers and, uh, uh, and, and teenage rebellion and all the stuff that comes with having kids. Um, I, I miss having friends. And I don't have the social skills, and I don't have the time or the inclination for the friend bar scene. <laughs> I will not demean myself that way, so I am going to present my case to you as to why you should be my new best friend and I yours. It works like that. First slide, please. Well, <clears throat> as your new best friend, I will be honest with you. I'm not saying you want that, but let's, you know, just fast forward a little bit. You're starting out like this. Every single one of you in the audience looks like this right now, as I can see through my PowerPoint classes. Um, this is where you're headed. Um, so I, I really think you should embrace change by embracing me. Next slide. <laughs> what is friendship if not keeping it real, yo? Um, look. We all know, we all know that there's a great deal of pleasure to, to a, a good, just solid, just vigorous butt scratch. Can we just all stipulate to that fact? Yes. Would, would you like to do it now? There you go. Okay, see, it feels goddamn great. Whether you're a, whether you're a, a fat, tiny mammal like us, or a cat. Uh, I, will, I, will, I will sit with you day and night and scratch asses together. I will help you with yours. You can help me with mine. It'll be fantastic. Next slide, please. Yeah. Look, you know, we live in Minnesota. We know, we know the deal with winter. It doesn't feel good, man. Some of us get seasonal affective disorder. Some of us build snowmen that then get skewered by sadistic children who apparently build lampposts. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, but look, if you have a friend, if you have, if you have me specifically as a friend, my God, man, I will get in front of your snowman and I will kick that little son of a bitch kid and his magic lamppost. That's what I'll do for you. Next slide, please. Blorp, obviously. Next slide. Yeah, uh... <laughs> when not scratching our fat asses together, we will uh, be sewing a plate with blondies on it. Oh, no, no, with, with pictures of ourselves. Uh, anyway, as your pal, I will sit there like a, like, like a, a stupefied uh, feline sewing freak with my tongue out. You know what I will be? I will be vulnerable in front of you, which you, may not appeal to you at all, but honestly... <laughs> Can you just feel the, the sort of closeness we're establishing even now? There's more of that on the way. Next slide, please. Yeah. I've been around a while, folks. I was there in the 80s. Um, I have problem with my tenses, yeah. Even in the 1980s, good guys still win. That doesn't make sense. I'm not well. I've been around for a while. My mind is no longer functioning correctly, and I need your help. 
This is, this is a naked appeal to your sense of compassion as human beings. Does anyone care? Next slide. Ah, yes. I've been so lonely. I've been so, so lonely. I don't feel, I feel the need for some authority figure, uh, a friend, a friend, a lover, uh, someone who makes graphs, to teach me the shades. Um, look, I will do anything you want to be your friend. It, do, it, it does not have to be sexual. It can and should be sexual. It really should be. No, it, it really should be. But it doesn't have to be. Next slide. Yeah. Um, as your friend, I will warn you about any sort of predatory animals that show up at your house. Uh, if they are bearing decent beverages, um, you know, I'll take that into account and maybe let them in. Uh, but, uh, but besides that, you know, if, if, if the, if the, uh, if the bad wolves are not carrying booze, I will not let them in the house for you. Next slide. <laughs> this is one of those situations where this is one of those situations where you, you, you really need someone watching your back. I mean, how many times have you gone to Rainbow? You know, you're picking up some Gogurt, some, some Gedney's pickles, some, uh, I don't know, some lunch meat, probably Hormel, that's lovely. And this fucking panda comes up and she's like, Bleh. That's when you need a friend. This is when you need me, Panda Hunter. I will take on any goddamn medium-sized bamboo shoot-eating animal that is non-threatening to me for you. Any bigger than that, we might have a problem. Anyway, I will protect your groceries with part of my life, not all of it. Next slide, please. Guys. Look, we all get hungry. Um, I know you're, I know things are tough these days. The economy isn't very good. You know, some of you guys might be out of work. Uh, I've struggled with that myself. Uh, I know when you gotta eat, you gotta eat. And as your pal, I will do whatever it takes to put protein in your belly. Do you wanna go to the zoo with me? I'll take you there. I'll get you a horse, fine. I'll get you a fucking giraffe. I will roast you a giraffe, put it on your plate, and say, this is for you, because you're my best friend and I don't want you to starve. This is not the Hunger Games. I'm giving you a giraffe. Want a little zebra on the side? You want a lion head? I'll get that for you. Next slide, please. All right. I will... <laughs> I will do research for you. I will, I will help you follow the trajectory of your vomit. Because uh, that's what a friend does for a friend. Uh, I know you guys are all alcoholics. You know, that is pretty obvious to me. I don't judge you for it. In fact, I sort of admire you for it. I've never had, I've never had the balls to be an alcoholic. And I admire you and I look up to you. And I want to help you with that. I want you to, I want you to just be able to carry that through your life. And I will help you. I will hold your hair. I will escort you to the men's room here at the BLB. Um, I will funnel your vomit in a proper fashion. Whatever you want to be. If you don't want to splash vomit at the BLB, I, I'm, 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 I'm your pal that'll make that happen. Next slide, please. In summary, speaking, we talked about the vomit. Um, in summary, look, I, I, I'm just scared. I'm just one lonely head on the floor of life, scared of being alone and, and not having any friends. I have, I have a lovely wife. I have kids. But you know what? 
they're not doing it for me, man. I need a friend. I need this. I, I need this. I need this, man. Thank you. Oh, God.